Hey guys, I'll be having uh, more lighting tips and uh, other cool tips like that on at the end of this video. So stay tuned if you want to see that. Hello, this is Saint Bert Films here. Uh, this is ten ways to uh, to make your videos better, your Lego stop motion videos. Uh, first tip is on set building. <laughs> Do not add just a flat wall. Do not have at least like a wall. <laughs> Break it up with like some decorations, like a window, or a picture, or something like that. And then, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> sorry my voice sounds weird, I'm sick right now, but, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, alright, uh, add, uh, this right here, see it's kinda like, see, it splits off like that. Make sure to add like connector pieces, like right here. You could add something like that right there. Makes it a lot more sturdy. Sorry about that. Makes it a lot more sturdy. What's you need to do? Once again. Flimsy. More sturdy. Third tip is to add de like not decorations on the wall, but add furniture into it, like I'm working on uh, Tom Channel General Grievous, which is not done yet. I will really, uh, I will release it soon. Uh, I'm just this is a chair. No, I don't like a chair, but it's the best I can do right now. Uh, and there'll be a a uh, shelf right here, like a flower pot, and they'll have decorations outside the window right here. Uh, fourth tip is to uh, have a blue infinite background. I do that is just buy some poster board. Very cheap, it was like six nine cents, something like that. But what you do is you buy that and then curve it. Make curve up a wall or whatever. And you curve it up and it creates a blue infinite background. <sighs> yeah. Second tip is pretty obvious. I mean not second tip. I'll tip it on uh, fourth, fifth, whatever. I uh, use brick separators. They're very handy on uh, taking waste sets, building sets, and uh, taking off roof pieces. Roof pieces are a pain in the butt to take off. But with this, are very easy to. Sixth tip is to uh, make sure that, like, Make sure it's like solid color. See, that's changed. Do not have. Well, you can have multiple colors, as in like this. This right here. Let it be one color, one solid color. And then you can add another color up here, like a different shade of brown or whatever, to make sure it's separated. Make sure you can see a line right there. Where it changes. Make sure you do that. Do not have like this brown right here be like down there. It just looks really bad. Not really bad, but it makes it look better if you do do it that way. Like that right there. That ain't gonna be in the camera part. You can't see it with the camera. I'm gonna be shooting. Seventh tip is to use diffusers. Light diffusers. Pretty much you can copy some uh copy paper onto it. Uh no not copy tape. Sorry. Tape some uh, copy paper. On to be very careful to add breathing spaces. Or else I'm not catching on fire. And also, I'm using 15 watt bulbs. Make sure, uh, make sure you use low wattage bulbs, so it won't burn down. Uh, yeah. Eight tip, 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 tip is to add uh, like this is incorrectly. <laughs> Alright. Eight tip is to add black construction paper into the windows. Uh, if you're not going to be, if it doesn't require you seeing it in, because what it does is say you just have like a wall. Say so you have this right here, just uh, as a prop. You just have a wall right here, just to act like a building, but there's nothing on this side. Uh, instead of it just showing through blue, that would show that it's actually empty. What you do is, if you had a window right there, you would put uh, 
black construction paper right here to tape into the window. So it's just black. And looks like the lights are off. Next tip is on uh, considering pieces. Yay, fun. Alright, uh. What you can do is take away, like, this water. Say I was just using that as a prop, as just a building. But there was nothing, I didn't want anything inside the building. This also goes with the tip I just showed you before, tip 7. Oh no, tip 7, tip 8. Maybe we're tip 9 right now. Uh, you would take off these pieces. These wall pieces right here. Okay, that, coming off. that ain't coming off right now, but you get the idea. You have nothing on this side, but you just have a wall right here. You just have a, a wall. And what that does is because if you just need a house, but you don't need anything in the house, it conserves pieces and also conserves time. Because what you can do is just build a thin little wall. Sorry about that. And it creates, it creates a prop as a house. Uh, for tip 10, I'm going to be adding two tips together. Which is, make sure you have two lamps. Uh, normally you need two lamps for best quality. Because this is the reason why. I'm going to turn off one lamp real quick. See, it casts a lot more shadows than having uh, two lamps. Alright, look, we'll go from, let me turn off all the lamps. We'll go from no lamps, that's one lamp, and that's two lamps. Creates a whole lot less shadows. Uh, I picked up these lamps at Walmart for uh, $10, which was not that bad. Actually, they're around 8 bucks. But anyways, you can pick up some good lamps for very cheap. Uh, these do not use, uh, these are not LEDs, and they have clear bulbs, not white bulbs, so I just add diffusers. Uh, next tip, which is part two of part two tip, is to use either tape, I'm using masking tape, or C-clamps to hold down your set. Because <laughs> it's going to slide around. It's going to slide around a tremendous amount, and it's going to create, uh, it'll... It'll create a more jittery effect, which you do not want. Uh, so you're trying to make like an earthquake or something like that. But anyways, if you do that, it will lower the jittery of everything. This is Saint Brit Films. Please like and subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye!